let us take up another data sufficiency problem. In this case, he says, there are uh, four friends and all. We have to determine whether they are all facing the same direction or not. And as usual, we have to tell on the basis of three statements. We'll try first statement, then we'll try second statement, then we'll try third statement. And if they don't succeed, then we'll try for their combinations. Okay, let us come straight. Are all the four friends A, B, C, D who are sitting around a circular table facing the center? So we have four friends who are sitting around a circular table and it's a small table, only four people are there. Things won't go very complicated. And this was asked in one of the previous year papers. B sits second to the right of D. We have to draw a, first of all, small table we can draw and four positions. B sits second to the right of D. And D faces the center. Okay. We can draw D like this. And B is second to the right of D. So imagine yourself sitting on this table and therefore B should come at this position. C sits to the immediate right of both B and D. Immediate right of D will be this one. But if C has to be on the immediate right of B, then B must obviously be facing outside. So we can say that all four friends A, B, C, D are not facing the center. This alone is sufficient. This one was fairly easy. Let us now take the second statement. Whether the second statement will be also alone sufficient or not. A sits to the immediate left of B. Okay, again a fresh diagram has to be drawn. And we'll draw four positions here. A sits to the immediate left of B. In this case, C is not an immediate neighbor of A. C sits, nothing has been given which tells us whether anybody is facing inside or outside. So A sits to the immediate left of B. We can do one thing. We can, in the first case, assume that B is facing inside. And in the second case, we'll assume that he is facing outside. And let us see whether we can have some sort of coordination or we can have some sort of contradiction. A sits to the immediate left of B. If this is so, if B is facing inside, then A should be at this position. C is not an immediate neighbor of A. So C will have to come at this position and C sits to the immediate right of D. Then obviously four persons are there, D will be here. But if C has to be on the immediate right of D, then D must be facing outside. So if according to second, uh, if according to what has been given in the second statement, B is facing inside, D must face outside. But remember that we assumed that B was facing inside. Let us see what will happen if B faced outside. Okay, A sits to the immediate left of B. In this case, A would come at this position. C sits, uh, C is not an immediate neighbor of A. C must be at this position. And C sits to the immediate right of D. That means D must be facing inside. And in the second case also, in the second sub case we would say, we have seen that even in this case, whatever way B is sitting, D will have to sit in the opposite direction. So we can say this is also alone sufficient. This statement also alone helps us deduce that all the four friends are not facing the center. Now let us take the third statement. D is an immediate neighbor of both A and C. Okay, draw a small table here. 
D is not an immediate neighbor of both A and C. This means if A is sitting here, then D is not an immediate neighbor. This means C must be at this position. Sorry, I read it wrongly. D is an immediate neighbor. So this means C must be opposite to A. In that case, D will be either at this position or at this position and he will be the immediate neighbor of both A and C. Okay. B sits to the immediate left of A. So in this sub case, we can take A is facing inside and B will have to come at this position. C sits to the immediate right of B and if C has to be to the immediate right of B, then B must be facing outside. And this caselet tells us that A and B, they will face in opposite directions. So we can say that this statement as far as one case is concerned will be able to help us in saying that all the four friends are not facing the center. But let us take the second case also. In the second case, we will assume that A is facing outside. If A is facing outside, D is an immediate neighbor of both A and C. So in that case also C will be facing, uh, say will be opposite to A. Not necessarily facing inside or outside, but C will be located opposite to A. B sits to the immediate left of A. Left of A will be this position and B will have to come here. C sits to the immediate right of B. If uh, C has to be to the immediate right of B, then B must face inside. And from these arrows we can see that in both the caselets, we are definitely able to see that all the four persons are not facing the center. Therefore, third alone is sufficient. So this statement alone, this alone and this alone, all of them are alone sufficient to help us determine whether all the four friends are facing the center and we found that they are not facing the center. This caselet is very important. You should at least review the video to see how I have done it.